Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back to another exciting edition of Sports Update Ghana. As usual, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to drop a comment. Yeah, so today we're talking about the nine local base players that Coach Siki Akona has invited to the Black Star squad. Yes, the Black Stars are going to play uh, in the African qualifiers against South Africa and Satome and Principe. The South of Me and Principe game will be played in Ghana, but the other one will be played elsewhere. So we are going to talk about the nine local place players who have been invited into the team. So many of them are making their debut for the first time. Well, first of all, we have to talk about Razak Abalora. Abalora has been in post for the Porcupine Warriors this season and he has distinguished himself so well. He's helped the team maintain their topmost performance and well might be in post against the for the black stars but since the return of the number one goalkeeper which is Richard Ofori we'll wait and have to see what he has to offer for the team well the next player we have is Glatina Waku who has also been in the team before in the past so Glatina Waku has been in a top form this season in the Ghana Premier League. Well, he scored against Heart of Folk and he scored against Kotoko and that merits a Black Stars collab if you ask me. Well, finally, he's been asking for it. He's been asking for it and finally he has gotten the attention that he needs. Hopefully, he distinguishes himself among his peers and well, if he gets an international um, Club, a club outside, well, that's not bad. A, a player at his age or his caliber deserves to play outside, but well, he could stay in the Ghana Premier League and well, it to get more traction for for us in the Ghana Premier League. So the next player we also have is Danlad Ibrahim, who is making his debut in the Black Star squad for the first time. Danlad Ibrahim has been in top form. Um, I was in top form at the U20 African Cup of Nations where he was in post for the uh, Black Satellite and make sure that we won the tournament. Well, he's currently on loan at King Faisal and he considered three goals in all competitions at the uh, U20 African Cup of Nations and had four clean sheets. Well, he has been invited to the Black Stars team and he, if you don't know, he won the Golden Globes at the uh, U20 tournament and surprisingly he well <laughs> he has earned the call up and he deserves it if you ask me and uh, I hope maybe in the second game against Atomi and Principe he gets the nod to be imposed for Ghana. Then we have Philemon Bafo who was also at the U20 tournament with the Black Light. He's a right back and he plays for Dreams FC Philemon Bafo, his inclusion in the team has been very, very curious. A lot of people have been talking about whether he deserved the call up or not. Well, we wait and see what he has to offer for the Blasters, but he has some good attacking instinct and well, his courses can help the team score. Wait and see if he'll be included in the starting lineup, but for now, we can only talk about him. Then we have Fatal Isahaku. Fatal Isahaku is one of the six youngest players to have been named in the Black Stars squad. And this is history in the making. Well, the decision to bring him on doesn't surprise a lot of people because the 17 year old has dazzled and distinguished himself. As I always say, I always like to use distinguish. So, well, he's been named in the squad. And at the U20 African Cup of Nations tournament, he won the player of the tournament. And that is something that we have to um, do to help him transition into the Black Stars team. We don't have to let him wait for a number of years before we are giving, we give him the nod to play in the Black Stars. Well, so if, if you are surprised, if you don't know, well, Fatal is who plays in the Division 1 league. A player of his caliber maybe deserves to play in one of the top clubs in the Ghana Premier League, but unfortunately he plays in the Division 1 league. I won't say unfortunately, fortunately he plays for Steadfast FC in the Division 1 league. And I can't wait to see what he has to offer in the uh, Division 1 league, which we all don't follow that much. But well, he's been named in the squad and we see what he can do. I pray that he comes off the bench too. Well, gets the needed attention that he needs 
as well. Then we have Eric Ofori entry, the Midiama goalkeeper. Well, some goalkeepers have distinguished themselves in the Ghana Premier League this season, and Eric Ofori entry is one of them. The 26 year old has kept six clean sheets for Midiama this campaign, a record that is shared by Razak Abalo, the goalkeeper of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, who is also in the squad as well. It comes as no surprise to a number of people as he and Abalo have been called into, into the squad. He would, however, have to really impress to move ahead of Abalora in the pecking order. As I said before, Richard Ofori was also in the, in the squad. So definitely, he's the number one goalkeeper and definitely will be given a nod to keep the post for Ghana. And we have Ismail Ganiu. Well, this season, Kotoka have been defensively good and Ganiu would be rewarded for that. Well, the 24-year-old has formed a strong partnership with Mubarik. Mubarik received at the heart of defense, leading a multitude of clean sheets for the Pocky Partners. Against South Africa and South Tomei and Principe, the former Carolina United man may be given the nod to replicate his league form on the international stage. Then we have Joseph Esso. Joseph Esso, this has been long coming. He played in the Black Stars B setup where we 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 went we went to the Afu uh, Wafu tournament and he scored a number of goals. I remember he scored some good quality goals. And finally, he has been called into the senior national team. Well, Esso started this season very slowly and eventually he has been able to transform himself to a goal scoring machine for. Dream CFC at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, the former Astro Folk forward has netted 10 goals so far in the competition, and he only comes behind the Aussie Taylor in the pecking order. The Aussie Taylor has scored 12 goals for Karela United. Well, his ability to find the back of the net could force Siki Akono to add him to the starting lineup in the upcoming games. Then we have Kwame Opoku. Kwame Opoku. From Inkoraza Warriors, this player has shot up, shot up, shot up. Well, he came from Inkoraza Warriors straight to Kumasi Asati Kotoko and he's been banging in the goals, banging in the goals. As young as he is, the 21 year old has scored eight goals in all competition this season and he has really attracted the likes of Algerian side, USM Algiers, to sign him by splashing. An amount of money on him. Uh, Kotoko cannot say no. The money is needed, so we've allowed the player to go. But well, before he leaves or departs the country, he will have to play for the Blasters for the first time since he has been included in the squad. We will hope to see what he has to offer for the senior national team. But I pray that he's given the needed time to distinguish himself. Uh, what do I like? saying distinguish himself, maybe you have to come up with another word. But hey, Kwame Opoku has been given the nod and we wait to see what he has to offer for the team. So that is it guys. Um, I heard Christopher Nettie and a number of players have also been added to the squad, but this is what we know officially for now. This is the official squad and if there is any update in the squad, I'll let you know. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like and share. Peace out.